several federal agencies are examining the safety of those popular synthetic athletic fields. We call them crumb rubber and their possible carcinogenic material. Do these fields compromise the health of our children? ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is on the story for us this morning. Hi, Marcy. Good morning, Paula. Federal officials say millions of children play on this kind of turf every day. So many parents, lawmakers, and at least one star athlete raising serious concerns about potential exposure to chemicals and now finally getting action. This morning, a major step towards answering a crucial question for athletes across the country. Could the fields they play on be a hazard to their health? ESPN's E60 series addressing the growing concern last November. All these kids that are playing because they love it, I want them to be safe. I want to know the truth. Tell me, is it good or is it bad for us? Three federal agencies are now looking into whether a popular artificial turf called crumb rubber could contain dangerous carcinogens. Several lawmakers raising the issue worried about the effect of the turf made from ground up used tires. Athletes say during a game, those little black pellets are unavoidable. We get in our sores, we get in our eyes, they're everywhere, we eat them. Crumb rubber infill is used at more than 10,000 athletic facilities nationwide, from school playgrounds to public parks, even stadiums, including this one where the Women's World Cup was played. And there are some serious health concerns. What's in those little rubber pellets? I don't know. I think it's irresponsible. Concerns like those prompting this high school in Washington to make a costly last minute decision to switch to a different type of turf. Because nobody is sure what or how serious it is. The EPA, CDC and the Consumer Product Safety Commission now investigating, explaining some of the government's best and brightest scientists are working to identify what is in recycled tire crumb and if it is harmful. And one industry group tells ABC News there have already been more than 50 studies that have reported no elevated health risks associated with synthetic turf. But what's being done now is the first comprehensive investigation of its kind, and the results are expected by the end of this year. Huge consequences for children and athletes all over the country. Marcy, we appreciate it.